Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Gargoyle motorcycle only because in the new Arena War update, we have now got brand new upgrades for the Gargoyle. So in this video, we're going to be purchasing it and turning it into an Arena War vehicle. So if you want to buy this vehicle outright, it's going to cost you $120,000. But you do also have a trade price on this for $90,000 if you'd like to get it for that little bit cheaper. But without any further ado, guys, let's get this purchase. Let's get it into my workshop and let's see these brand new upgrades. So here we go guys, now we're inside the workshop. You can see that the Arena War upgrade is there at the top and you can also just customize this bike standard um, within the, the Arena workshop, but we're not here for that. We're here for the Arena War upgrade. So if we click on there, we can see we do have the Apocalypse, the Future Shock and the Nightmare. And uh, I'm not a massive fan of the Nightmares. Future Shock actually looks really good on this bike. And then we've got the Apocalypse Death Bike. Uh, all, all the same price uh, at 1.2 million, so it's <laughs> not cheap at all. It's very expensive. So you're looking at 120,000 for the bike, but then you're looking at 1.2 to turn it into uh, an Arena Warm uh, vehicle. But I think it might be worth it, you know. You can put guns on this, you can get rotary blades and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be a proper. <laughs> crazy ass motorcycle at the end um, yeah like I said all the same price I'm not really sure what I want to go for it's out of the future shock and the apocalypse because I actually really like the future future shock version of this um, and I think a lot of the vehicles other you know a lot of the other cars that I am going to be choosing the apocalypse but I don't know whether to carry on the trend of just have all out apocalypse like Mad Max vehicles in my workshop garage or chop and change them I think, fuck it man, I'm going to go Apocalypse. I can always do another video on the future shot, can't I? Yeah, man. So we're going to purchase the Apocalypse. And look at that beauty. That that is that looks insane. That is actually insane. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get into this motherfucker. So for the brakes, we are obviously going to start with the, with the race brakes. Boost, unlock item for purchase via the arena war or buy now for a higher price so obviously you can um, unlock them by progressing in your arena war career but if you want to buy them outright it is going to cost you obviously a little bit extra it's going to be the same sort of thing as the buy it now price compared to the trade price i reckon it's going to be a you know a couple of maybe a couple of thousand more expensive um purchasing it without unlocking it I'm not really worried about that. We want obviously the best what we can get, so we're going to be purchasing the boost upgrade for 100%. So then we move on to the bodywork. Hopefully, we get some crazy options for this. So we're going to start with the spikes. Oh, okay. So basically, when you do the upgrade, it gives you, it looks like it's just going to give you the upgraded already, but you do have the option to remove it. But why you'd want to remove it, I have no idea. This is the whole point of this bike. But we do, oh my word. We have spinning blades, that is insane. And uh, that's kind of like if anything comes towards you, it's like a barrier, that's, that you know, so that will protect you from oncoming um, vehicles. I wonder if that will chop a pedestrian in half. I highly doubt it, but it would be pretty cool if it did. But anyway, we're going to purchase the spinning blades. And then we've got the armor plating. Again, the same thing as the boost, you can purchase it for a very high price or um, unlock it for a little bit cheaper. Um, obviously we're going to go full armor. That thing on the back there, you've got a riot shield on the back, that is nuts. But we've got to have to have the heavy armor. Hopefully it makes a little bit of a difference in um, y you know, the durability of your motorcycle because I think you know, on other armored vehicles, the you know the armor doesn't really matter if you purchase the light armor compared to the heavy armor usually on, on you know on previous armored vehicles th that wouldn't give you anything extra um but because of the pricing on this this is like 300,000 and the cheapest is you know 110,000 i hope the heavy having the heavy armor would make a bit of a difference so i'm going to go for it just because it looks insane then we're going to go to the engine and we're obviously going to grab the level 4 engine upgrade then we've got uh, we're going to go straight to the lights because we don't need a horn. Uh, headlights we're going to purchase. Oh man, we get different colour lights. Holy shit. They are expensive motherfucking bulbs though. 52,000 for a bulb. Damn. 
<laughs> that is great. I didn't even look like it's that much different. Um, oh, red looks sweet. I do like the red. I think we're going to go with a red light. I actually really like that. It looks smart. Yeah, we're going to go with red lights. What the hell not? And something that I wasn't expecting, we do get a livery option. So we've got half-baked. Oh, so it's just going to be your rust pattern. Okay. And none of them really f f float my boat. They all kind of look the same. You can have it clean, though, which is a bit odd. I don't see why you'd want it clean. But I think the half-baked probably looks the best, to be honest, because there's not enough rust on any of the other parts. And clean just looks really strange. So we're definitely not having that. We're going to leave it half-baked. And something that is new, we get to name our motorcycle. How strange. I have no idea what I'm going to call this. Two thousand years later. Um, maybe because it's a motorcycle, maybe something like Hell's Angel. I, I mean, it's cliche and all that because obviously the Hell's Angels, but it is a motorcycle. And um, it is like something you'd find <laughs> out of a horror movie. So maybe Hell's Angel would be appropriate for it. So yeah, we're going to call it... Should we call it the Hell's Angel or just Hell's Angel? The Hell's Angel. Hell's Angel. I'm going to call it the Hell's Angel. The Hell's Angel. There you go. That sounds pretty sweet. Hopefully that will all fit in there. Nice. Uh, okay. It just flagged up for forbidden text. For uh, All over it was the Hell's Angel. How the fuck is that forbidden text? Okay. Maybe we won't be calling it that then. Fuck's sake, Rockstar. I mean, they make these motorcycles with rotary blades on them and you can shoot a cop in the face, but you can't have Hell's Angel for for the name of a motorcycle. All right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That's a Rockstar logic right there. Jesus. How about Death Bike? Yeah? Let's see if that works. Oh, you can have Death Bike. So you can have Death Bike, but you can't have Hell's Angel. Shit. All right. Uh, next we get an option to respray it. Don't really know if you or what a respray it, but if you're gonna do it, it's gonna have to be a matte colour. Unless you've got rid of like the rust livery on it, if it's a clean looking bike, then you could go classic or metallic. But because you've got that because we've got that rust livery going on, you know, the half baked, we kind of need it need it to be a matte colour. Because otherwise it would look a bit odd if you had a shiny paint job but then load of rust um, yeah, and load of rust everywhere, so um, I actually like the way it was. Dark red actually looks quite cool. And maybe because we've got the red light bulb for the headlight, we sh maybe go with a dark red livery, um, not livery, dark red paint job. It actually looks really good, actually. Yeah, man, fuck it. We're going to go dark red for the paint job in a matte. Then we come to the transmission. We are going to get the race transmission. Then we've got a turbo. We're going to get the turbo tuning. Vertical jump. Holy crap. Wow. So you can... <laughs> that is... Uh, that's different. This is going to be a very expensive build. This is another four hundred thousand dollar option. <laughs> right. So jump upgrade a hundred percent. So this better jump high for that price. There we go. Purchased. Then we've got the wheels. Uh, it's a shame that you can't really rust up the wheels. That's a little bit disappointing. Um, I don't really know if I want to change the wheels. I think they're pretty cool how they are. Oh, you can change the colour of them. My bad. I uh, don't think you can get a rusty one, though, can, can you? I might just leave Maddie out because I like the chains on them. I think they look a bit... They'll take a lot of the look away if you remove the change... Tra if you remove... <laughs> if you removed the chains from the wheels, I think it would, you know, destroy the look a little bit. Um, yeah, because I think they obviously add to the apocalyptic look of the bike so uh, I'm going to leave the wheels stock and there's obviously no night time on the outside because my headlights come on so we're going to go to tyres next hopefully we get the bulletproof tyres as standard we don't, holy shit so you spend all this money on the bikes all the armour upgrades but it doesn't give you bulletproof tyres so you still got to spend an extra 25k on bulletproof tyres so we're going to be doing that and last but not least, we have the weapons. So what have we got in here? We've got primary weapons is the only option. And the only other option is mounted miniguns. And that looks nuts. It is a lot cheaper than even the, <laughs> the vertical jump. So you can buy mounted miniguns for less money than a vertical jump. 
So uh, another Rockstar Logic in this game. Full of them, mate. Full of them. But anyway, it's going to cost you just under three hundred thousand dollars to purchase mounted miniguns for your motorcycle. But that makes it look absolutely crazy. That is nuts. GT what is GTA anymore? And that is it. Holy crap. Should we exit the arena? Let's exit the arena and take it for a little drive, shall we? See what's, see what's going on with this. Um, wow. <laughs> That's nuts, man. And I don't really like that riot shield on the back. I don't like the fact that you can't see the person riding it. That's a little bit annoying. Might have to change that. But let's go into something with these rotary blades. Does it do any... Oh. So you... Oh. Let's see if we can get a pedestrian with him. Yeah, so it did, it did kill him. But there's no extra animation. You can hear their... F if you hit, listen carefully... You can hear the <laughs> the blades cutting into their flesh. So yeah, they <laughs> they do do something. They do kill the pedestrians. Yeah, but there's no new animations, no sort of like limbs cut, cutting off or anything like that. How the fuck do we shoot these miniguns? Whoa! Okay. That was that's the boost. That's the jump. Oh my god. The, oh, I like it, man. I like that. That was worth the money. This is oh shit, son! And we've got a boost as well. Oh. Now nah, this that is these are these are cool. So we've got a jump, like the um, oh shit, what's it? The Night Rider. We've got the boost as well. Oh, I've run out of boost. No, there it is. As well. So, oh, whoa! There we go. And then we've got rotary blades on the front. I need to figure out how to shoot these guns. That's break. That's just flipping someone off. How do we shoot the mini guns? There we go. We got it. So you can't control these mini guns. It's ju it just shoots straight. So um, whatever you're going towards, it will shoot. Oh crap! They're fucking powerful, motherfuckers. I blew that up well quick. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going the video there. I think this update's amazing. I wasn't expecting these to be that good but <laughs> now we've got the vertical jump we've got the boost we've got mini guns attached to a um, a motorcycle i really i really dig on that i think it's awesome but yeah like i said that's going to be the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please hit that like button and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube my youtube channel <laughs> for more gta content and until next time guys i'm out adios